Okay, welcome to part four of this video on uh, uh, finding tensions in cables and the uh, force in a support uh, by using uh, a static um, analysis of particles. In this part of the video, we will talk about how to solve the system of equations that we have on the screen. So if you already know how to solve uh, simultaneous linear equations, then you should probably just go solve them without going through this video. But if you're uh, struggling with it, or if it's something that you haven't reviewed for a long time, hopefully this will help you understand different, several different methods that you can use to solve these. Um, now again, in parts one and two of the video, uh, the easiest way to, or thing to do is have an equation solver available like Wolfram Alpha, and just type the equations in, and it does all the work for you. But if that's not an option, uh, we'll present several options here in this video. So one way to do this is by substitution. So what I've done is I've uh, taken the cosine of 33.7 and computed it. And uh, so basically, in this set of equations, we just have numbers. We don't have any more cosines or sines. In substitution, I'll use one equation to solve for t1 or t2 in terms of the other variable, and then plug that into the other equation. So it looks like the easiest thing to do here would be to use this equation to solve for t1 in terms of t2, then plug the expression for t1 in here, solve for t2, and um, then go back and solve for t1. So if I take the top equation and solve it for t1, the first thing to do would be to uh, put the t1 and t2 on opposite sides of the equal sign. When I do that, I get 0.832 t1 is equal to 0.707 t2, which means that t1 is equal to 0.707 over 0.832 t2. And when I solve that, I get 0.850 t2. OK, so now the next thing I'll do is I'll take this expression for t1 right here and plug it in right here in the second equation. So I've got 0.555 times 0 0.850 t2 plus 0 0.707 t2 is equal to 8,000 pounds. Uh, let's see, we'll multiply these two guys together. And we get then that this is 0 0.472 plus, so we have 0 0.472 t2 plus this term, 0 0.707 t2, is equal to 8,000. I can factor a t2 out of these two numbers. And I get then that t2 times 0 0.472 plus 0 0.707 is equal to 8,000. And then adding these two guys together, and then dividing both sides of the equation by the sum, I get that T2 is equal to 8,000 divided by 1.179, which turns out to be 6,785 pounds. Okay. Now, with that value, this value for T2 that I've just computed, I can plug this back in here and get then that T1 will be 0 0.850 times 6785 pounds, which turns out to be 5767 pounds. Okay, so 5767 pounds. Okay, so this is one way to do it, just directly substituting. For some situations, it might be easier. Uh, for other situations, it might not be as easy. Another approach to doing this is to use matrices. And matrices are very uh, helpful, particularly if you have a calculator or a computer program, such as MATLAB, 
or uh, Wolfram Alpha, that will compute matrix inverses or uh, directly solve e equations involving matrices. So if I go back to my equation, if I want to write this in matrix form, it looks like this. I take all of the coefficients and arrange them in a matrix. So I have minus 0 0.832, 0 0.555, 0 0.707, and 0.707. Again, that's each of the coefficients. Um, I then can multiply this by a vector of t1 and t2. And this is equal to a vector of 0 and 8,000. OK. So this, at this point, um, if you've got a powerful enough calculator, uh, you can just plug this into your calculator, and it will uh, do the solution. Um, if you uh, don't have that luxury, then there's uh, two possible ways that you might do this. Uh, the first would be to um, compute the inverse of this matrix here. Okay, And I'm not going to go into any detail on computing the inverse of a matrix. I'm sure you can find uh, plenty of information on the web uh, for that. So again, if we want to compute the inverse of this matrix, minus that inverse is represented as just the matrix raised to the negative 1 power. Computing that inverse uh, gives me minus uh, 0.720, 0 0.720, 0 0.566, 0.848. Okay. And then, uh, given that I have this inverse, I can find uh, T1 and T2. They will be equal to this inverse times. 0, 8,000, this, this vector here. And if I work that out, then I get a vector. Again, this would be the matrix multiplication of this guy times this vector. And when I work that out, I get 5, 7, 6, 8, 6, 7, 8, 7. Okay, so this says that T1 is equal to this value. T2 is equal to this value. And the units here are pounds. Oops. Now, when you're doing the computations, uh, your calculator probably won't be able to keep track of units. So uh, I've gotten in the bad habit of just dropping units and putting them back in when I'm done. That works well if you uh, keep things straight. If you don't, you can. It's a uh, quick way to get yourself in some serious trouble. OK, so one final method to solve this system of equations. And this is the one uh, that oftentimes, if I couldn't find an easy substitution, back in the day that I was doing this as a student, where uh, our calculators didn't do matrices, MATLAB was too expensive for most students to play with. Um, you can use Kramer's method, which, again, hopefully uh, you don't have to deal with. But the idea is T1 is the determinant of the matrix of this matrix with the first column replaced by this column. So we have the determinant of 0, 8,000. And then we have then the second column here, 0 0.707 and 0 0.707, divided by the determinant of our original matrix, minus 0 0.832, 0 0.555, 0 0.707, 0 0.707. OK, and determinants are straightforward to compute. It gets to be a pain. Uh, for a two-dimensional matrix, it's uh, 
your determinant would be uh, the upper left times the bottom right minus the upper right times the bottom left. Okay, and again, I won't go through and actually calculate that, but when you make that calculation, you get a minus 5656 over minus 0.9806, and this gives us 5769 pounds. Okay, and T2 similarly is going to be the determinant of minus 0 0.832, 0 0.5550, over the determinant of minus 0 0.832, 0 0.555, 0 0.707, 0 0.707. And you work this out and you get uh, negative 6656 over negative uh, 0.9806, which is 6787. And again, this is units of pounds. Okay, so hopefully this has been a review. In fact, I'm guessing that, um, I'm hoping that you looked at this and decided that you already knew it, so you just went on to something more exciting if that can be imagined, but if not, hopefully this uh, has refreshed in your mind how you go about solving these systems of linear equations. Um, we'll get these quite often in our analysis. So um, this will conclude this video.